out to the uh, site there, just beyond the main dam here. They're continuing to bolster that area after the erosion uh, took it out on Saturday. The numbers continuing to drop here at Lake Oroville, the elevation of the lake now at 889.2 feet. They continue to run 100,000 cubic feet per second out the main spillway. That is uh, certainly making a difference as well with the inflow only around 23,000 feet. They know they have more weather coming later in the week, and they also know they have the entire runoff season ahead. So they're trying to strengthen those areas, and once they get the lake lowered and they can get some of those areas strengthened, that's when they say they can begin thinking about repopulating the areas that have been evacuated, and that's what folks are waiting on. Новый удар стихии, который может стать роковым для аварийной плотины, опасаются в Калифорнии. Самая высокая в США дамба и без того с трудом сдерживает напор воды, а синоптики прогнозируют новые ливни. Как раз затяжные дожди и привели к тому, что несколько населенных пунктов рискуют уйти под воду. Инженеры работают на перегонке с природы, нужно срочно отремонтировать водосбросы. В них образовались гигантские промоины с воздуха, бреши засыпают камнями. Инженерам удалось немного снизить уровень воды в искусственном озере, однако угроза не миновала. Власти стягивают все возможные силы. В трех районах введен режим ЧП в полной готовности свыше 20 тысяч военных. Происходящее на аварийной дамбе мониторит круглосуточно. Не отменили и эвакуацию жителей. Все больше людей прибывает в пункты временного размещения. На дорогах гигантские пробки. Между тем выясняется, что эту плотину не включили в список объектов, на модернизацию которых власти в ближайшее время собирались выделить деньги. Хотя ранее их уже предупреждали, что дамба может не выдержать экстремальных нагрузок.
that's down. They're they're uh, they're laying the first bag of rocks right now. I think they'll be doing this for a while. These bags look awful small, but they're one ton. Oh yeah. There should be another one right behind him. They'll, they'll do round robin on this. Yep. Dave's mic, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Check, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Dave's mic. Okie doke. Yeah, that's all you'll get in this helicopter because nav track's on the other channel. Go ahead. I was not. It's it's a, a virtual Niagara Falls here, and as Mike can zoom in there, you can really see where the water just comes down and hits that hole and takes off to the left and right. You can barely see the old spillway right there. There's the concrete wall to the left and a lot of erosion on the right side of your screen, Eileen. making very rapid progress here as another Black Hawk helicopter comes in here to pick this up. And another development that's happened here, you heard me say earlier in the newscast, I was at 4,500. Well, CAL FIRE put an air attack commander up in here today, and he just got here, and he cleared us down to 3,000 so we can get you some closer images than, than we've been getting. Now, this, this feels almost like 
firefighting with the helicopters picking things up and dropping them, but it's, it's usually water. This time, it's bags of rocks, one-ton bags of rocks, and we have that command uh, aircraft that's orbiting here, so we had our, our clearances like we usually do for safety to work with them, and, and we just keep watching them move these rocks back and forth in round-robin fashion. It's going quite fast. We'll show you in, in a little bit uh, how rapidly they're filling that hole that we were showing you earlier. Yeah, because there's a bulldozer that's kind of building a road down into there. Yeah, you see, there's, so they're building a road down into there so they can go down and make concrete in there. start on the hole. I'm assuming that was one, two, three, zero, two chopper five. I'll be looking for you and I am right now kind of over the, the parking lot area off to the northwest or west of the side of the dam there. Well we're right next to the parking lot. This is the road, this washed out road that leads to the boat launch there. And I did want to show you where those dropping, where they are dropping those rocks. You can see a lot of erosion in there that came over the parking lot right there. Remember, it was underwater and the water was flowing over here. So it was flowing up against that road and then it washed the road away as it goes more towards the emergency spillway. So what it's looking like here is they want to fill this in and reinforce these areas that have the most erosion here to reinforce this, get the water to go the way they want it to the next time that this has to come over the uh, this area rather than the emergency spillway. You know what? That bridge looks cool. Why don't you go ahead and show that? No, the other one. You when you were first on. Yeah, I like our angle on that. No, th seven, I think 70s further down. 